global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, great people. Welcome back to Global Halflings today. We're so excited to have you again. One of Buhari's aides and also a well known journalist have clashed on a micro blogging site. Now, the clash is traceable to the issue of national grid collapse. Don't forget that for almost a day now, Nigerians have been in blackout because of what happened to the national grid and uh, it has um, the result and effect has been a collapse of virtually everything in the country ranging from business down to you know other sectors of the economy and nigerians are not happy now you're going to hear what actually transpired that resulted to all of this and uh, you know that uh, the aides of president they are mostly out to ensure they support the president talk well about him in any social media um, blogging side or give it a name maybe media briefing they find themselves they must give adequate support to their principal but guess what it didn't go well with the, the, this particular aid of president Muhammad buhari but before we give you full details of that if you've not subscribed to our channel please do well to hit on the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you get notification anytime we publish our videos and according to the news and aids to president muhammad buhari to lu ogunlesi and a broadcasting journalist sandra as a questly have gone ahead on with each other over a fresh collapse of nigeria's national electricity grid recall that it was reported that the national grid collapsed on monday pushing both the citizens and business to groan about due to the outrage in power supply. As a question, who is the host of Current Affairs radio program, Hard Facts, on Monday, Info 99.3 FM, took to the micro-blogging platform to criticize the President Buhari administration over the fresh power grid collapse and how it has worsened epileptic power supply in the country. According to her, she said, the way the national grid keeps collapsing under this administration, you would think it was one of those men who trekked from Lagos to Abuja to welcome Buhari. Every single thing this administration campaigned on, they have failed to deliver, and some of them they have made worse. Insecurity, power, poverty, corruption, power, the economy, you name it, they have failed at it. That was her tweet. About reacting to that Post President Buhari, special assistant on new media, Tolu Ogunlesi, quoted statistics from the Nigeria electricity system operator while faulting the journalist over her remarks. He also shared figures to show that grid collapse in the country have declined from 42 in 2010 to 4 in 2021, noting that the decline suggests increasing grid stability, which doesn't mean we still don't have major grid issues, but maybe we are headed in the right direction. He went further to admonish the broadcaster to help us with some kick-ass journalism here, adding that there are journalistic responsibilities that cannot be evaded in the name of bans. As a question, however, scolded Ogunlesi for trying to justify the current grid collapse by making comparison to what was obtainable about 7 to 10 years ago because the current administration came to power, or before the current administration came to power. Their conversation, however, degenerated into calling an insult, with Ogunlesi saying a thin skin journalist isn't a good look, while as a question, described the president is as Agbaya. Hmm. I mean, this is serious. I would like to just read some of the things that they say here. At first, what uh, Tolu Ogunlesi said was giving an update on the grid issue. He said that the number of grid collapse in Nigeria from 2020, 2010 to 2021, and he started mentioning that in 2021, it was 42. It reduced to 1924 according to the years. 2013, it was 24. 2014, it was 13. 2015, it was 10. And to 16, it went to 28. To 24, to 18. And lastly, 2021, it was just 4. That was what he brought out from, according to him, the source is system operator. And then he went further to say, you want to make 
it seem like I have any issues with you talking about grid collapse, which is a very dishonest thing to for you to do. All I did was introduce some useful data into the conversation to enrich, and now you are getting angry. I am stunned too. And uh, Sandra, before then, Sandra had said, how is me saying the grid collapse is a problem today? An objective fact, the same is me. As me making a comparison to other things, I am stunned that the English has to be explained. Hmm. Sandra went for her to say, if you didn't have issues with my tweet, we wouldn't be having this conversation. If I thought a second, if I thought a second, you were being serious. I offered to send you links to my old shows referring the data, but who has time to hmm, wash up a senior journalist being paid to be asleep? Hmm. And then that I think that was what provoked this guy. This guy said, "You are truly angry now. You are getting personal. A thin-skinned journalist hmm, isn't a good look at all. Do better." And I hope you can see this as a notch to bring more rigor to your work. All best wishes and the young lady sandra is a question lambasted he said me the grid is collapsing a lot under this administration to do it's collapsed more under past administration you are wrong me i didn't say otherwise so i said it's collapsing a lot today to do you are paying a fa i fact checked you it's too early for this agbaya behavior to do that was what she said after explaining how the conversation went, he went for her to say, laugh out loud, to Lou really said thin skin and not a good look in the same sentence where he ended the conversation and wish me well and on and up his boss banned until a few weeks ago because his tweet was deleted. The irony. Hmm. I mean, this is a serious one, and trust Nigerians, Nigerians jump in and make their statement known. Well, you know, ordinarily, if you want to look at the um, positions that your people are being paid for, they're paid for to work, you know, and I think Ogun Lesi cannot just sit back to watch how his own boss is being lambasted, his, uh, you know, effort and all of that being brought down. The fact came as a result of, you know, trying to, Pence this administration as a, a super performer when it comes to electricity and all of that. But the lady also, in a very systematic way, and uh, not really uh, been very outspoken, but she also made her position to be known, being also that she is a journalist of repute, would like, you know, to be downcasted and to be talked down upon the way Tolu Ogulesi went. I mean, for me, I don't think what Tolu Ogulesi did was right for him to come and say a thin skin a journalist that's absolutely wrong you know you're trying to but he shame the lady and it's over, over. very very wrong you understand it was a case of great collapse it would have been left there you know and personally i feel that the facts that he had presented before now is enough to communicate a lot you understand you have shown nigeria the fact from 2010 how it was till now that would have ended the conversation even if she had reacted to it you just look at it and you know bluff it and go your way you understand but unfortunately they had to go into it and ended up as an abaya however i like to leave it there go to our comment section let's interact what's your position about media business in nigeria i hope very soon that uh, sandra is a question it may, will not be dealt with by nigerian broadcasting corporation that's where i like to leave it go to our um comments